Water. Aneska. Water, I beg of thee. I thirst. I starve. I am Ekaterina the Wise. Ekaterina the Promethean. Ekaterina, the leader of the Brujar clan. We are the children of Cain. And now, thou art one of us. God have mercy on my soul. I am damned. Steady now, whelp. Thou lackst the strength to fight, and I would slice thee in twain without hesitation. Thou must feed, my child, before the hunger overtakes thee and drives thee mad. <gasps> Am I now a miserable demon? Stealing blood to live? Damned and cursed to hell? Is this all that remains of noble Kristoff? Nay, my child. There is far more to thee than ever before. Thou art Bruja now. We Bruja are the philosophers of Caden's lineage. Where other clans treasured gold and trinkets, we sought pure wisdom. We strove to unravel the thorny knots that bind the very gates of heaven. Are we damned? Nay, we are exalted. In fabled Carthage, we lived in concordance with all mortals. Together we sought the secrets of Eden, that the children of Cain and the children of Seth would be raised up. But the hated Ventru grew jealous of our power. The patrician clan betrayed us and tried to destroy us. We survived, but fabled Carthage did not. Despite this great loss, we Prometheans continue our search for harmony with all mortals. We are the most noble of our breed, Kristoff. We seek only the fulfillment of the dream that was Carthage. But we need thy help to achieve this goal. A war lies ahead. A terrible battle that calls for warriors like us. Wars among devils do not concern me. We will cause thee to think otherwise, Well, Enough, Cosmos. The Bruja blood needs time to cool. Come, let us leave our young one to think upon his situation. But know this, Kristoff. Thou would have been killed or embraced by our enemies on this night. We have given thee life eternal, and awakened thee to the true face of thy world. I do not expect gratitude, but our clan requires loyalty or death. There is no life in me. Even my heart has ceased to beat. My very soul has been stripped from me. There is nothing left for salvation or damnation. Thou needs must pledge fealty to thy new mistress. I am newly remade and know little of this world. I agree only to follow thy lead for the present. Such rebelliousness is unseemly in Abruja. I do not like such willfulness in my children. He displays as much fealty as can be expected from such a one, Ekaterina. Very well, Cosmas. Then thou may hold his leash. We shall see if he takes instruction with more deference. Kristoff, thou must understand that our enemies are legion, and none more vile than Clan Zamitsi, which infests Prague like a plague. The fiends seek thy death in payment for the slaying of Azra and her Shlakta servitors. If thou art to survive, thou must quickly master the powers of thy blood. Thou must pay heed to all our laws, or thou wilt become a gibbering monster like the Zemitsi. Our first law. Mistress Ekaterina, I crave thy indulgence. Kristoff is a man of action. His learning shall be the greater on the field of battle than the parlors of the Prometheans. Let me take him on my mission to Garanal's Haven, where he may learn our ways firsthand. I could use a stout broadsword protecting my back. Kristoff is not yet ready. Verily, he is as ready as he shall ever be. I would have thy counsel, Cosmos. 
Kristoff is no Bruja philosopher. His hot blood cools too much when he has no mission and curdles. Send him forth. If he survives, he will have mastered our ways. Very well. Kristoff, go thou with Wilhelm Stryker. Trust what he says if thou wouldst outlive the night. Go, my swordsman, and strike deep into the lair of our dear ally, Garanol the Cappadocian. Time to cut thy teeth, fledgling. I stand. I return to thee. Disobey me, child. Learn thy lessons well. Katarina is a scholar, not a warrior born. She would keep her fledgling studying vampire lore in her nest till Gehenna comes, and never hurl them from the nest to test their wings. But I cannot spend hours debating canite wisdom in a university. Give me a stout broadsword in my hand, and the sweet taste of my foe's blood on my tongue, and I have all the wisdom I need. And I suspect thou art akin to me. I am not akin to thee, blood guzzler. I strike only those that deserve my steel. I do not murder the innocents to gorge on their blood. Thou shalt feed upon blood or thou shalt die, but thou need not kill to do so. Drink only so much blood as will sustain thee. Suffer thy prey to live on, for to kill during the feeding is to violate our Promethean ethic, and that way lies the beast. The beast? A beast born of Cain's sin doth coil within thy breast, Christoph. Keep it at bay, or be lost forever. Acts of cruelty unleash that beast, until it rules thee, as it rules many of Azra's kin. The beast made them madmen? Nay, the mad vampires are called Malkavian. Shouldst thou meet one, God help thee. Shouldst thou need his assistance, God cannot help thee. Nay. The beast is not mere madness, but demonic possession by the curse of Cain. We Prometheans are wayfarers in the land of the beast, but we stray not from the road of humanity, the Via Humanitas. By our acts of compassion are we saved from the jaws of the beast. Remember this always, or be devoured from within. Thou hast life everlasting, so long as thou keepest thy pallid flesh hidden from the sun's hateful rays. The life-giving sun only brings death to the likes of us. Each day we must retreat to our haven in the chambers below the university.
taken me. He has taken the best of me and left nothing but a shell in his home of bone, in his halls of skin, behind his walls of flesh. He has taken all I had. Good day to ye, young sir. Good day to ye. I grow faint. The hunger overcomes thee. The beast strengthens as thou weaken from lack of blood. Canst thou feel him uncoiling in thy heart? Thou must feed. Feed or die, Christoph, for I shall kill thee before I let the beast claim thee. Only what thou needs, Christophe, no more. Behold, his wound vanishes. Monsieur shouldn't drink so much wine, eh, Christophe? Do not worry, he'll wake up and know nothing of what has happened. Most mortals find great pleasure in the dark kiss. Ekaterina tells us that in Carthage, the mortals happily submitted to him. These powers tempt me to dark acts. How easily could I rain devastation 
on all who vex me. Thy fear and thy power conspire to make of thee a beast. Seek thee an anchor for thy humanity, a rock to cling to when storms come. Banezka. Love for a mortal is the most dangerous of all anchors. I must see an Ezka. That is most unwise. The cheerful world of daylight is lost to thee. I must see her again, just to look upon her for a moment. Ekaterina would not be pleased. Oh, very well. Shouldst thou display valor on our mission this night, I shall take thee to the convent but only for a moment to glimpse her as she sleeps. Now come, our mission lies ahead. Behold Petron Hill Monastery, haven of the Cappadocian vampires in Prague. The monks are vampires? Nay, the Cappadocians lurk in the desecrated crypts below the monastery, out of sight of the monks who provide them with fresh blood. Only those monks that serve Garanol know the real master of the monastery. Ah, 